Good afternoon, Tyler here with Center Point Yacht Services. Here today in our Milwaukee warehouse, I'm going to take a look at this Carver 1996 325-aft cabin. I'm going to give you a quick walk through the boat, show you all the spaces, and give you some more information on the boat. Don't mind me, I'm losing my voice today. Bottom paint does show a few pieces chipping off. Overall, it looks in pretty good shape. Hull sides show a little bit of oxidation. No major scratches or anything really noticed. Would easily come right back to life with a with a quick buff. Up towards the top at the waterline, we see more of the the flaking. But when you get down underneath. definitely dirty but you can see it is a little scaly from previous coats a few little scratches there nothing major The aft deck on this is not canvas enclosed, only the upper portion of the bridge is. Trim tabs and exhaust there. Another shot at the props. And the bottom paint. Swim platform with storage compartment. Transom shower and city water inlet. Gas fills on each side of the transom. Fiberglass stairs to get up to this half deck. Plenty of room up here. chairs and the table walk arounds on both sides I did walk all over this boat I didn't feel any soft spots in any of the decking some of these boats are starting to show that nothing noticed here manual anchor no windlass on this particular boat can of course always be added A little dirty from the fall, but overall in good shape. The canvas is newer, a couple years old. The front curtains are stowed inside right now, but they are here. Crusader 350s. In this boat showing about 160 hours 160 on that or I'm sorry 560 not 160 559 on that one 560 on the other looks like original electronics um, there is a president VHF on this side separate controls throttle and transmissions make it easy to dock solo captain's chair then bench on the port side can sit another three, maybe four. They're cozy. The upholstery is still pretty soft. It looks to be original. Seams and stuff aren't really coming apart. No major tears. It is dirty, it looks like, um, just because it came out late in fall. 
didn't get a last bath, but it looks like it would clean up decent overall in good shape. Canvas looks pretty good, no mold, tears, anything like that. Just down the stairs, you've got your control panels in here and then a battery switch down here, which we will throw on. Hit the main and voila, we have lights. Interesting layout for a 32 foot model. Salon sofa. Under those seats there is storage. That is not a pull out berth. Got one air conditioning control panel there. There's another one down in this V-berth area. This table is huge. Obviously, you convert that down into a berth. It makes a very large sleeping area. There's a track above for a curtain to separate that off if you want it. Over to the starboard here, you see the other air conditioning panel and a CO detector, most likely. Wet head. Pretty large, actually, quite spacious in there. Engines are accessed through the salon floor. There's three large panels, one there, one in the middle, and then the third one extends under the sofa. By pulling the middle one, you can get that one to do your daily checks without having to pull all the other ones out. But if you're doing tune-ups or more service, obviously you would remove them all. This aft cabin has a double bed to the port side feet kind of get tucked under that cabinet to give you your full length and then there's another single to the starboard right next to you that's a, a hanging closet there looks like the furniture for the chairs on the aft deck No sink, cabinets underneath the mirror, cabinets under the berth. I think that's all I really got for now. Feel free to comment. If you've got any questions on the boat, feel free to call, text, email anytime. Um, appreciate you watching the video. Please like and subscribe if you don't mind. That helps me out. Thank you.